Hey beautiful people, welcome back and welcome new friends. Guys, the other day I went on Amazon and I decided to order the Hobonichi Cousin for 2024. I've been hopping back into my Hobonichi Cousin from 2023. I started using it in the beginning of this year, then kind of stopped. And once I recorded that video where I shared with you guys the flip through of those different spreads to give you some ideas, it made me kind of go down memory lane. It made me want to use that planner again. And I have been, I've been having a good time with it. Even with the different colors that flow from month to month, I feel like right now it just, I don't know, my mind gives the book a little bit of character before I even put pen to paper or add any stickers or anything. So I've been using that lately and I've been sharing a couple of videos and clips on TikTok. So if you guys happen to be on TikTok, definitely follow me over there. And so I might use this in my 2024 planner lineup, but not 100% sure yet, we'll have to see. But while I was on Amazon looking for this, I happened to find this. A Hobonichi Cousin dupe, guys. You know, there's a ton of Hobonichi Weeks dupes on Amazon, especially off of Amazon as well in the last year or so. Many small planner shops have made dupes, but there are not a lot of Hobonichi Cousin dupes, especially not at this price point. This is $21 versus the Hobonichi Cousin, which is $63. And I'm sure the Common Planner version, the Angel Shop version, and the other versions that are out there are definitely not $21. Now, it looks very, very similar, and it says it's 2023 to 2024 with Cousin on it at that, just like the original. I'm going to flip through this today to see what the differences are and the similarities of it to the Hobonichi Cousin, because you might want to get this for yourself, especially at this price point. I'm going to flip through this planner first and then I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of it next to the Hobonichi Cousin. Now the cover is a nice thick card stock, but I still would want to protect it with a plastic cover or a leather or a faux leather cover just because the edges will probably still fray over time, especially if you're placing this in and out of your bag. If you're leaving it at home, it's not the biggest deal, but if you're going to take it anywhere, you definitely want to protect it by having a better cover on it. Let's see inside. Okay, that's the cover page. Now we have the yearly calendar for 2023, 2023. 2 and 2024. Then we have the index area where we could have some trackers and things. 2023 from January to let's see where it ends. Okay. Now I'm a little bit confused because this does say to 2024. Usually planners that are from 2023 to 2024, that means they're starting mid-year. They usually follow some sort of school calendar schedule where it might be July 2023 to July 2024 or August 2023 to August 2024. But it doesn't look like that's what I'm seeing here. I'm curious to see where 2024 is. Maybe just not in this area. Let's see as we flip through. But this already looks very, very similar to the Hobonichi Cousin. Also on the website, it did say that it does have the same grid size. This is a 3.7 mm grid, just like the Hobonichi Cousin. The pages also look a little bit off white, like slightly cream color, but not as yellow as the Hobonichi Weeks. Okay, this is December, 2022. Looks just like the Hobonichi Cousin. Look at this. Okay. Let's see how far this goes. Now, we'll just go to 2024, let's see. Let's see where it ends. Okay, now I see the monthly, the monthly calendars go into 2024. We have January. They also have this lettering here to indicate that we're starting 2024 and moving out of 2023. And this will go up to, let's see, which month? This is going up until March, 2024. Okay, so we have some months. Let's see the weeks do as well. Hopefully they do. Now these are the weekly pages. This goes from 5 a.m. to 4 a.m. the next day. Looks very, very similar to the Hobonichi Cousin. Okay, now that we've seen a few of those pages, let's see how far it goes. All right, looks like, hmm. 
this is not a good thing it only goes until december 2023 now if you want to redate this you can and obviously save yourself a lot of money maybe put some stickers here little day script stickers and date script stickers to cover it up to redate it of course but I don't know, are they coming out with another planner for 2024? Because this doesn't really cover 2024. If you have the monthlies go until the end of March, why don't the weeklies go to the end of March at least too? I mean, it kind of, I don't know, doesn't give you everything that you really need. I don't like that at all. Okay, now let's see, we have turning the page to a new year here, very similar to the Hobonichi Cousin. Okay, same sort of layout like the Hobonichi Cousin right here. This is a daily page. This is the first daily page. We have some quotes and they are in English, which is nice. Please is an appointment to say thank you. Okay. We have the phases of the moon, the same. More quotes at the bottom. And then it looks like, let's see, each month has its own color, just like the Hobonichi Cousin too. The first one looks like a little bit of a maroon. Then we have like an olive green for February. Then a purple for March. Looks a little bit more pinkish for April. Then we have, let's see what's next. A green for May. Then we have, this almost looks like the same thing. <laughs> I don't know why they would choose these two colors. This is too similar. It's just slightly darker for June. Then let's see, we have a blue for July, purple for August, sort of brown color for September. Then what color is this? This is a, it looks like a, a dark teal for October. Then this is a, sort of green just like before it looks like it's repeating itself a little bit for November then this I think this was January's color or April so we have that sort of brownish pinkish color again let's see where these stop do they stop at let's see let's see does it go no they stop so it stops for 2023, nothing for 2024. Looks like this only has the monthly pages for 2024, which is kind of disappointing. It's, it's sort of misleading. <laughs> I'm wondering now, is that why it's cheaper? It's disappointing me myself. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. So this is the grid page. Let's see how many grid pages we have. One, two, three, four. All right, four, okay, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight grid pages. Okay, a good amount of pages to use in the back, notes pages, whatever you want to write back there. Now we have a timetable for chores and different things, maybe for your school schedule if you want to put that there. Graph paper, favorites, looks just like the Hobonichi cousin back here. Then we have the My 100 again. Favorite things, everything's all in English. Write down memorable phrases you encounter throughout the year that you don't wanna forget. 365 days checkout sheet, the one that I still don't use because I'm not 100% sure what to use it for. Gifts, yeah, it has pretty much similar things. We're going to compare it to see if uh, the Hobonichi Cousin has all of these pages, but I'm pretty sure it has most of these pages. Personal notes, then that's it. Okay, all right, let's compare it side by side. Then what I'll do is a bit of a pen test. I'm gonna use some of my fountain pens, my Parker pen, my Zig Clean Color Dot Marker, a Tombow, Friction, Sarasa, Zebra Mile Liner, a couple of those to try and test it out to see how it is. Now, it does seem like the paper is much thicker and not slick, so some of these some of these markers might bleed through, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so here we have the Hobonichi Cousin for 2024. I definitely like this cover a little bit better. It's a very nice, neutral, like slight creamy color. 
this is more of a a tan brownish color so that's it side by side this is definitely an a5 size okay the corners of the cover of the hobonichi cousin along with the pages are a little bit curved here on the corners they're not sharp now let's compare it side by side now that we have both oh i like that okay now the hobonichi cousin pages are all white here as you can see so if you look at it right next to each other you can see the difference in the color now if you didn't notice it before they both have the similar yearly calendars of course this is for a different year so it's going to be a little bit different this is for future years let's see the index pages all right now with the hobonichi cousin we don't have the gray and the red throughout the entire tracker here for the entire row, right? We only have it for the date. But looks pretty much the same, right? Look at that. Okay, let's see the monthly page. What's different here? Again, this looks <laughs> the same. <laughs> It looks exactly the same. You do have the gray and the red here. This looks a little bit darker. The gray and the red here, they're slightly darker. This is more towards black. This is more towards a burgundy versus this is more of a red. This is more of a, a medium gray. And the same thing here for January. It's a medium gray. But those are things that I don't really think make much of a difference. Otherwise, it looks the same, the bottom as well. Let's see what January is. Is it the same for the date? Oh, that's right. January starts on Monday next year. So that's going to be a little bit different. But you know what? Let's flip. Since we do have the monthly page for 2024, we might as well look at that and then compare it. Okay. Yeah, it looks just like it. So take a look at that. And then take a look at this. See, it looks the same right there you can freeze frame it just you know pause this video if you want to really take a closer look at that now let's look at a weekly page let's find one of the weekly pages to see what the difference is now this is 5 a.m to 4 a.m same thing there and then same thing with the colors pretty much looks yeah it looks the same here even says the week number next to it looks like the same exact font too <laughs> oh my gosh there's a, just so many similarities to this looks just like it except for again this is white paper let's see the daily pages let's flip to one of those okay you have the phases of the moon again you have the month the date the day quote at the bottom of the page and let's see side by side look at that yep it's exactly the same has that pretty much same amount of space from the top and the bottom for the quotes area and again it looks exactly the same same font definitely same amount of boxes here for i guess any priorities then over here too even for the time as well it's the same, 6 a.m. to 3 a.m. Let's look at the back to see if those pages are the same. Now the Hobonichi Cousin, let's see how many notes pages. I don't believe it has eight. I believe it has four note pages. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five versus the eight notes pages that we have in the back of the ZTTXL planner. Also, this grid does go from top to bottom as well. Now we have the timetable. This one looks like it's more of a lighter gray again, but now that I'm thinking about it, because this is a slightly darker page, it's more of a cream color, that might be why the ink looks a little bit darker. Here's the graph page, exactly the same. And it says the same thing this page is convenient for recording your daily weight or other this page is convenient for recording your daily weight or other. <laughs> exactly the same they really copied off oh my g cousin favorites it's in the same order too look at that guys 
same order. Can you believe that? Same symbols. Then we have the Maya 100 again. Says the same exact thing. Oh, there's a little bit of a typo here. They have a gap between this word that should be together. Okay, it's a little messed up here, but not the biggest deal. I guess when they were copying and pasting, <laughs> somebody messed up. Oh, this is an interview for, interview with myself here. Don't have that in this one. Okay, I guess they didn't add that. They didn't decide to copy that one. <laughs> Seasonal sweets to make it home. That's definitely not in there. Caring for your eyes. Then words to remember, you have that. The 365 days checkoff sheet looks the same, pretty much. This font looks a little bit different than this for this page, but everything else looks the same. Getting the most out of your Hobonichi Techo. Ooh, I'll give you some ideas here. That's new, they didn't have that before. Gifts, and we have the gifts again. Addresses for eight people. And then the personal notes. Oh, it does have it in the back. Then just some info for the actual company with a stamp for your particular Hobonichi. So that's how it looks compared to it. Again, it's much thicker. Let me show you a side-by-side -side comparison here. Looks like it might be about double the size. And to be honest, again, it, I don't know if you want to try it. Maybe if you're thinking about using the Hobonichi Cousin, but you don't want to try it out at this price point, I would say get the 2023 or see if you can find the 2022 version online because you'll definitely get it much cheaper. Then you'll really get what this is like. This, I would say, is a decent comparison, but it's more, I would say, compared to this, this is about 70% of what this is like. But if you get the 2023 or 2022 version that is much cheaper, or maybe even another brand like the Common Planner, I'm not sure if that's going to be much cheaper, to be honest, especially the 2024 version. Uh, and I don't think she has many 2023 versions that you could try out, but, and they, they might not even be that much cheaper because she's just started to come out with these plans and she's a very small company. But those might be options that you might want to consider before trying this, to be honest. Um, but if you want something really, really cheap and you think you could make this work, probably redate a lot of these pages, then you can make you you know make do with it for twenty one dollars. I mean there are some pros. It does lay flat, <laughs> which is interesting. Different paper, but it does lay flat. As you can see, it's sewn bound too, just like the Hobonichi cousin. So there are definitely some pros to this, as trying it out for a planner that is less expensive. Now let's try a quick pen test just to see. I'll use this last page because who cares about the gifts and the address page? I don't know who's using that. Let's start with the Sarasa. This is a Sarasa Dry Vintage Collection 0.5. I'll just put some scribbles there. Sarasa 0.5 was the 0.5 mm. Then I'll try another one. This is a part of the Sarasa Vintage Collection 2, 0.5 mm. Then let's try one of the mild liners. This is the off-brand Mikey Depot that I bought. Okay, there we go. I like this purple color. The Friction 0.5. This is the erasable pen 0.5 mm. Let's try a Tombow. I don't know what color number this is because it rubbed off before I started adding nail polish to cover my Tombows. I'm just going to put Tombow. Really nice milky brown. This is the Zig Clean Color Dot Marker. I have a feeling this is going to bleed through. Clean Color Dot Marker. 
Okay, then I have my Parker XL jotter pen that I like to use, especially at work. Very nice looking professional pen that's not too expensive. I'll just write Parker. This is a 0.5 mm. As you can see, that's my preference, guys. <laughs> 0.5. Sometimes I'll use a 0.7, but I try not to. This is the Noodler's Beaver Ink, and I'm going to be writing this with the SD or Estabrook SD <laughs> Tortoise. This is a broad nib. I'll put SD Tortoise. I like this color ink, nice brown ink for the fall, or really any time in general, nice brown ink. This is the S. Derbrook SD Punch. This has a, I believe this has, let me see, fine nib. This has the Pelican, Pelican, Pelican Eldestine, sorry, Eldestine Star Ruby ink in it. Now let's see. Looks like everything is dry. I'm going to rub my hand against the yeah it's dry usually fountain pen ink takes longer but like i said the way this paper is definitely doesn't have any slickness to it like tamo river paper or even like the midori paper well, let's see let me flip it over can we see through it i can definitely see some bleed through with the zebra mile liner or maki depot mile liner here i can see the uh, zig clean color dot marker can definitely clearly see that through the page here we oh there's definitely some bleed through with the fountain pen ink oh this is the noodler's beaver fountain pen ink then you can see some as well with the pelican eldestine with the pelican eldestine star ruby ink as well now when it comes to the hobonichi cousin with tama river paper you will see through the page will there be bleed through not necessarily but you will see that there's something written on the other page and you can see that right here even with the date i haven't written anything on the page but you can see it coming through but it's not bleeding through so there's a little bit of a difference but if it bothers you then this might not be for you either you might need thicker paper like an erin condren planner or even a happy planner but this is thinner paper. I'm assuming because they wanted to try to fit everything together and kind of try to make it work, still not being the Tama River paper that it is. And again, it lays flat. I definitely like that. That's a, that's a huge plus. You guys let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this planner? Would you want to try it out for 2023 or 2024? Or would you stick to the Hobonichi Cousin or something like it? I definitely want to hear what you like and prefer in the comments down below. If you happen to enjoy this video, go ahead, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and check out this video next. I'm sure that you're going to enjoy it as well. Take care and have a great day. Bye, guys.